Hello everybody. Um, we're at Advanced Taxidermy right now. Um, picking up my tr uh, rainbow trout mount. It's the first ever uh, trout I ever caught on a rod and reel, so I figured I'd get it mounted. Um, we're just waiting for it to come out, and when I get it, I'll show you what it's uh, what it looks like. Thank you. Okay. Um, we're back at my place now because uh, well, I wasn't even allowed to go in the store, so. I wasn't like gonna f be able to film anything in there, so uh, it was kind of curbside, curbside only. So I got there and I called them and they brought it out. And I didn't bother filming; like I wasn't gonna make a video in a parking lot. So um, yeah, so here it is on the wall. Um, yeah, it looks exactly like. When I pulled it out of the creek, that's exactly what it looks like. And there's a mouth shot there. Yeah, it's just on some driftwood here, and it's got like this little bracket that holds it on. And then, uh, yeah, so there's that. But, uh, um, people are gonna wonder why, like it is a smaller fish, right? Like it is a smaller fish, like my hand. And, uh, but it, it means like a lot to me. Like I, I catch, like I get these mounted as like the story behind them, not the, I don't know, the size, I guess the size does matter too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, in a way, like if the story is there and it's, you know, cause this is my first ever trail on a rod and reel. First ever trout. Because what had happened was we started fishing them last year or the year before or whatever. Oh, that's not gonna stay there. But um, yeah. So my buddy Noggin, he kind of um was catching them like all like not all the time, but he did pull out about eight of them that season and I was trying to catch at least one and I was trying different you know tactics like different lures different um line even um different rod and reels like anything anything that's switch up to try to get one but I could never um it seemed like I could never get uh that fish like a fish anyway and um like I was getting frustrated like I was going out all the time too like every weekend after work and like just nothing and then uh that last time well not the last time we went but the when I caught that fish but uh my um like I don't know I'd say about six cast in my reel messed up it just like locked up so I was like pissed off about that and my buddy Rick and Noggin were there. And Noggin's like, go to my car and um, grab that extra reel out. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. And I was, you know, whatever. I said, and walked over there, grabbed the reel, switched it out. And uh, I was casting, but he had a braid on it, tied on the fluorocarbon, like, but that knot kept hanging out and it kept catching every time I was casting at the um, water there. And uh, I was walking across and I seen some uh, swimming. So I was like, oh, I seen some, I seen some in there. And it was like calm stuff. And then there was like rough stuff there. And then um, my buddies like Rick and Noggin, they're like, no, nah, you didn't see nothing in there, come on. Like they thought I was bullshitting them, but I wasn't. I seen like, I don't know, four fish swimming around in there. so. I kept fishing that. I remember like that knot kept getting hung up. So like I just, I don't know, whipped it out there, whipped that lure out there. And then uh, I was reeling it in. And then uh, I seen a fish was following, but to me, like it looked like a carp because I never seen really like, you know, a trout chasing a lure before. So I just thought it was a carp following it in for some reason, I don't know. But I was like, oh, what the hell, a fish is falling in the lure. And then uh, it got almost to the bank, and I just seen that trout's mouth open and 
bite that lure and then it took off and just start pulling drag so i was fighting the damn thing and then i was like i got one on i got one on and um they come running over and i got it onto the shore and yeah I was, well obviously i was happy that was my first fish and tried so hard that year and then uh yeah that that's the story that that's why i got that mounted because that's my first fish on a well my first trout on a rod and reel and i thought that was like the i don't know pretty i don't know pretty cool i guess but uh so this was considered my pb first fish but considered i considered it my pb and then yeah like a after i uh, got everything set in place to mount it and called and put my order down like a week later or so I caught a bigger one but that's 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 another story so yeah I got this oh yeah I got this fish done at ta on advanced taxidermy so yeah I'll leave a um their card or something in the video so all right that's all i have for this video so i hope you enjoyed this mount and the story behind it because people are gonna ask why it's so small and you gotta mount it but it's not even really that small if you it's about i don't know two feet long foot and a half whatever but all right thank you for watching